The vast majority of the electromagnetic radiation cannot penetrate the Earth's atmosphere, so we are using orbital observatories. Most notably, the high-energy ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays cannot be observed from the Earth's surface. Up to now, many X-ray observatories were successfully put in orbit, revealing the hot and energetic side of the universe. The next step forward is the European Space Agency's Athena mission, which will be launched in 2028. It will revolutionize our knowledge of the high-energy universe carrying the largest X-ray telescope ever constructed. Athena will be 100 times more sensitive than the best of existing X-ray telescopes. With all these observatories we observe the birth of new stars in regions where large molecular interstellar clouds exist. We also study the violent death of massive stars that take place during supernovae explosions. After the explosion, the cores of stars with high masses end up in what we call stellar black holes. From these stellar remnants nothing can escape. Matter, as it collapses onto black holes, creates an accretion disk around them. In this disk, the temperature and kinetic energy are so high that X-rays are generated. The death of medium mass stars creates what we call neutron stars. These objects spin at very high velocities and their radiation can most easily be observed when the beam of emission is pointing toward Earth. This creates periodical changes in their luminosities and this is why we call them pulsars. We also observe binary stars that are very close together and interact strongly with each other. There are special cases where one of the binary stars is very dense, like a neutron star or a stellar mass black hole. In these cases, mass is transferred to the neutron star or stellar black hole from the accompanying star. Then an accretion disk is formed which emits large amount of X-ray radiation. We observe the results of the merging of two common stars or the more violent merging of two neutron stars. These mergers always end up in the brightest explosions known that produce X-rays and gamma rays. The gamma ray bursts 